Jeff is nearly 18 now, and meeting Jane the killer was a big thrill for him as she died a tragic death from falling down the stairs. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, no! No, Jeff! Leave me alone! No! But this didn't stop his psychopathic ways. Charlie was going through a rough bullying stage at school and was beginning to get depressed and hearing voices in her head. They were telling her to do stuff. She just put them to the back of her mind and carried on with getting shoved in lockers and beat up in the girls' bathroom. She constantly heard the voices screaming at her. Why? No! No, I won't kill! I'm not gonna kill! Leave me alone! Please! Until one day, she snapped and listened to the voices in her head and pulled out the copper piping from the wall and stabbed her bully to death then licked the blood off the pipe she leaned near the bully's body and whispered now you know how i felt when you called me ugly and said i was too fat to meet anyone who'd like me and that i was a whore who should kill myself after she realized what she had done, she ran away. She didn't feel bad about this. Actually, she was quite glad. She wanted to do it more. So, Charlie went out. She killed more people, just because she liked the feeling of knowing she wasn't in fear anymore. Charlie was never a mean girl. She'd always just sit there and take the crap. She had beautiful eyes with brunette hair. But she started wearing really dark makeup and dyed her hair black. She'd read the Jeff the Killer stories and looked further into this, as Jeff was her inspiration. She went on and started doing what Jeff did. She used to say, don't go to sleep. I want you to feel the pain I went through. She then would pull out their guts and burn them in their own stomach acid, watching as blood would fly everywhere. Charlie became the talk of the town. One day, she went on a search for Jeff the Killer. She looked everywhere, hoping that one day, they would meet. Charlie finally met Jeff. Jeff looked at her. He didn't say a thing. His eyes were locked onto hers. He walked up to her and brushed her hair behind her ear and kissed her on the cheek. Charlie blushed and questioned Jeff. Huh? Um, why do you like someone like me? I'm just a fat, ugly whore! Jeff looked down at the floor, and then looked up at Charlie again. You're the most beautiful person I've ever met, and you're not fat, ugly, or a whore. Jeff continued to speak. I think that we should be together, as I've heard a lot about you, and I was fascinated. Charlie started blushing as Jeff grabbed her cheek and brought his lips close to hers. She pushed away. <gasps> no! Why did you push me away? Don't be scared of me. Please? Jeff said as they were stood down an alley in the rain. Jeff! You don't know what I've been through! All I do is push people away! Charlie whimpered as tears started streaming down her face. <laughs> I will always love you, no matter what happens, Jeff said, wrapping his arms around Charlie. I am... Um, have the urge to kiss you, but 
I feel as though if I do that, you'll just leave me. My father left me after violently beating me and my mother. I don't want to fall in love with you, as then I'll have to trust you. And I don't want to end up killing myself like my mother! Shh. I will never hurt you. You're the most precious thing to me. I've been waiting to meet you as soon as I heard about you. After being with each other for two years, Jeff decided it was time that Charlie and him should get married. Charlie? Jeff leant down on one knee. Will you do me the honors of becoming my wife? Jeff opened up the case to see a gorgeous ring with little diamonds going round the edge. Yes! Charlie squealed in joy. Yes! I will marry you! As tears of joy streamed down both of their faces, they went back home. A week before the wedding, Charlie sits down at the bottom of the bed and begins to cry. What's wrong? Jeff curiously asks. I'm pregnant! Charlie cries. What? Jeff says surprisingly. I'm 13 weeks pregnant! I was going to tell you before, but I didn't want to make a big fuss and then we'd lose it! Charlie! This is great news! It is? Oh, Jeff! I'm so glad you think so! <laughs> that was exhausting. I loved it.